Hello everybody, my name is Virus Liverpool, and I am back to show you guys the next installment of the series of Windows of Microsoft Windows 1.0. This is the Alpha and Beta builds. The Alpha build, as you can see right off the bat, if you guys watched my last video, looks the installation looks a lot different than in the DR5 build. Alpha, this Alpha release was very similar to DR5, there's really not much, except these little tiny tweaks as you guys can see if I move my mouse up, you guys can see that little arrow pointing up. And with a couple of things here and there, as you can see, we have no dot, we have no little manager here. Uh, we still have the bunch of files as usual. Everything relatively looks much the same, nothing's really changed. As you can see, we don't start up with a bunch, with, um, we don't start up with four processes anymore. Where it had the clipboard there. Um, Alpha was shipped to testers in January 1985. It was designed for IBM compact computers running DOS and I or IBM DOS with graphical dis uh, display adapters, CGA, and Hercules. I am using Hercules. Um, a floppy disk drive and a hard disk drive. This, like I said, there's nothing very similar, except the only things is little minor tweaks, as you guys can see. Um, the little arrow pointing up when you mouse up on the little, up there, little bar. And also that it's, that the installation looks a little bit, well, uh, different, very different. The only real difference in um, Alpha is that this was the last... To, this is the last build that actually included source code of sample applications, and another and one and another little thing that's different that there's an Easter egg over here in one in the source code in fonttest.c. Uh, and I'll be putting up a little um, pop up right now because there's really not much to see in Windows Alpha. It's just a little bit. It's still very buggy. By all means, it's very buggy. However, it's it also includes it's very rough it's it's really it's basically incomplete. It's what you expect out of a build operating system. This version also required to be run only on DOS X and or DOS 3.0. And it and the thing is it also it it performs an internal check before it confirms the version. So it's really not much to say about this about this build of the OS. Um, you can see the the interface looks the same, very same. Gives you the amount of space free on the hard drive, and you guys can just see like it just very much looks the same. There's no new applications. All the applications look new, and if and it's just basically all the programs that it installed. There's Cube, and now I'm going to have to wrap up alpha and we're going to transition right into beta so this is the ending screen and then it takes you right to the dos prompt now let's take a look at windows 1.0 beta build let's transition and check it out this is windows 1.0 beta setup screen this looks completely different from dr5 and alpha now the reason it looks a little bit more different is just to make it look a little bit more professional. Microsoft, this was uh, Microsoft shipped this out to testers on May 1985. It was the same pretty much. It needed the same parameters as Alpha, and pretty much. And this uses an RTM style like installer. As you can see, it requires three disks, your utilities disk, your setup disk, and your desktop application disk. And it gives you options on what video card you're choosing. Now, now what's very interesting about this, this is the first 1.0 build to introduce color. This version of, of 1.0 actually produces color. However, I've been have, as much as I tried to get the color to work, I just could not get it to work as it either I would get it to color to work and it would just crash and it just wouldn't work. So I just gone and used Hercules, the Hercules graphics, and we're going to have to stick with that. I will be at the end posting pictures showing you guys what it looks like in color. Be 
beta is a bit more stabler. It does add a lot more things to it. It's um, for the requirements. You need to run it under again DOS 2x or 3x. So you can put multiple versions of 3x. However, 3x, as I stated in my last video, it's really rare. And as we boot up into Windows 1.0, as you can see, it does not have a bunch of files there. It looks much cleaner. And they've added a feature where you could actually close, where you have an option to close, minimize, resize it, resize the window. And it's added a couple things. It's added a calendar here. It's really cool, isn't it? They've added a calendar. They've also added something called card file. As you can see, you can close it. It's pretty cool. And calculator looks significantly different. So you guys can see it looks way different. It looks one of the more like one of those algebra calculators that you would probably use. So this is one of the more major kind of builds. This is one of the more builds that really, really looks very different from DR5 and Alpha. And it's a bit more and it feels a little bit more stabler to an all as an all around operating system. It feels like this build is a little bit more stabler. It also comes with an addition of paint. Now, I'm pretty sure this is the reason why they started to put color, because they knew that they're like, might as well put in paint to see what's what's the reaction going to come out of this. It's really cool. A uh, little bit more information about this operating system. You can run it under DOS 5X and 6X, but you would have to add a specific file for it to run. As you can see, it can save the files. You can save your little paint but I just chose not to we also have notepad um, notepad in the DR5 and the DR5 crashed the computer and in alpha it will not let me type however here you can type as you can see we can click we have to hold down which is a little awkward we can save the file as and I save it as world put a little hello world there as you can see close it it's very interesting to see these kind of st this kind of stuff happen. As you can see, it saved it to the hard drive as world.txt. We have our standalone reversi, and the little bit about reversi is that instead of it flashing a little banner at you saying that it's an illegal move, it shows a dialog box, which I feel is kind of a little setback. I would have expected this kind of in the DR5 because I think it's a little bit more easier to keep the game keep to make the game go, keep going. Anyways. That's reversey, and it just looks not cluttered. You just don't see everything. And then here we got puzzle. Nothing's changed much about puzzle. And um, I will be adding some pictures at the end of the video to show you guys what it looks like with color. So that'd be pretty interesting to see. As you can see, it's pretty much all it. And as we open world.txt, you guys can see that it did save it. Uh, terribly sorry you guys for not adding color to this. I could not, I just could not get the virtual machine to do it. I tried a lot of these things and uh, they just ended up crashing or they would or they would just stay at the welcome screen and it just wouldn't work. And there's a new thing called card file. I don't know what this would be, but you know, there it is. Close, it says okay to save changes. So a little bit more, they've added a little bit more icons. So, uh, that's gonna wrap it up for Windows 1.0 beta edition we are going to close this operating system off and it does add a little bit more and your session Alrighty guys, I'm going to have to wrap this up Please rate comment subscribe if you guys want more just do what I just said rate comment and subscribe Alrighty guys. Thanks virus little signing off